up M Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you guys, I am doing a sit down video. This video is concerning about health. So I did already put like a thumbnail out. So make sure you guys go and check that out. And also make sure you share this video out as well. I just want to say welcome to all of my new supporters. Thank you. Welcome to the team um thank you for all of your support thank you for sharing out my videos thank you for the thumbs up the video liking it leaving a comment too thank you for watching i really appreciate you guys all of your support and your loving kindness that you have shown towards me since i've been on youtube i really appreciate you guys so much i am still learning about youtube i'm still learning about other social media platforms that i can share my content with and be able to support others as well but let me go ahead and get into this video you guys i know y'all been seeing a lot of my youtube shorts and a lot not too much as like regular videos and there's a reason why um i want to say for the past three weeks now um my husband has been going through some medical issues and um it's been a rough battle you guys for the past three weeks that's my son y'all see in the background hey guys so we have been to multiple hospitals and i'm gonna get into that as well so my husband has been experiencing like issues as if he was having a heart attack or a stroke right and um, I rush him to the hospital. You know, they do like they normal checkup. You check in and stuff like that. It took him back right away because what he described to them, what was he was experiencing. So they took him back right away, right? So they do an EKG. You know, they do like the normal workup. EKG, blood pressure. Blood pressure, they check your, um, they draw blood and all that. So um one of the hospitals that closer to us they did all that they did the blood work they took them down for mri and cat scan and all that stuff excuse me so they did all that um and they kept him for a couple of hours you know um he did let them know that he has like have experiencing issues with acid reflux all of that so they came back and said that his blood work and all that, all the testing came back negative, all that. So, as we've been in the hospital for a couple of hours, my husband was feeling better. So, they released him, right? So, I want to say either later, or like a couple of days later, he started experiencing them issues again. So, I said, instead of taking you to the hospital that we normally go to, we're going to go to another hospital that's not too far from here maybe like 10 or 15 minutes away from here right so we went there um they did an ekg on them they test them out blood work all that and um basically the nurse was getting him prepared to let him know you're not gonna leave we're gonna keep you overnight we're gonna monitor you we're gonna do all these tests and extra tests and testing done on you to figure out what's going on with you why you are experiencing these issues but we're looking at your past results and from the other hospitals, everything is coming back negative, right? So, I went home, got my husband backpack, you know, prepared for, you know, to stay overnight. Um, as soon as I walked in the hospital, my husband was walking out. And I'm like, so I immediately say, so they releasing you? Like, while well, the nurses and doctors right there behind us. So, I'm saying they're releasing. I was like, this is foolishness. Like, you really need to stay overnight. So, my husband was like, Mia, come on. Because he already know I was about to get worked up. So, he was like, come on, baby. Let's go. So, we went. So, when, as we got in the car, he told me, he said, baby, I already knew that that doctor, when he came in, that he was not going to keep me, that he was going to release me. Like, it's ridiculous that these people go to school for all this long time and you didn't even, my, that doctor, my husband told me that the doctor did not even look at his chart before he even came in. He came in, said a couple of things. Next thing you know, the nurse came back in with his discharge papers. Like, what type of foolishness is that? 
already issues going on with black people going to the hospitals and medical doctors as if we get treated like we not human beings like we don't get proper treatment when we go to these medical doctors and we go to hospitals or you know medical doctors we don't get treated properly I don't know what y'all think like I don't know what they think like we can tolerate a lot of pain like we can tolerate a lot of stuff we get put on the back burner and it's crazy that we get treated like this in the medical field it's crazy it really 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 is crazy so I said you know what let me not so um I began to look at stuff myself. I began to look on Google and just type in the issues that my husband was having. And I was basically explaining to him like, okay, this, 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 that, and the third. So we talked. So I called his primary doctor. His primary doctor set up an appointment for him to come in, which we already went there. She did testing, allergy testing, all that stuff like that. And then it came, it hit me, and I was like, some of the same symptoms that my husband was experiencing, I was experiencing too, but I was having issues with my gallbladder at the time. But I didn't realize it at the time because it made me, it made the symptoms that I was experiencing as if I was having a heart attack or a stroke. But when I got admitted to the hospital, they didn't know whether or not I was having a heart attack or a stroke because I was having some of the same symptoms. And I was telling my husband, I said, you might have the same issue that I was having with my gallbladder when I had gallstones to where I had to have surgery to get it removed. So I basically told him, I said, you might need to talk to your doctor and tell your doctor to see if they can refer you to a GI doctor. So the GI doctor can actually put you to sleep they stick like this um, this camera with a tube on it to go down it through your throat so they can be able to check everything like your intestines, your gallbladder, all of that. So they can be able to check and see if, you know, if there are some issues there, which I think there are some issues there. Right? So my husband had the same, same symptoms came back on. I said, forget this. I'm not going to go to the hospital that's clear so close to us and we're not going to go to the one that was about 10 or 15 minutes away i'm going to drive you all we're going to so we was actually at our, uh, my husband's cleaning account i think it was like on sunday saturday yeah it was saturday right and um no it was sunday so sunday in the midst of us about to go home and so my husband started having those issues and he started panicking a little bit i called the ambulance i said nope we're gonna go to the one that's on the south side of charlotte and it was a good thing that i did say to take him to that the hospital on the south side of charlotte they treated my husband with the utmost respect they immediately took him in immediately told him he not going anywhere they was and the thing about it is what that hospital is they greet you so properly everybody had mannerisms they immediately was treating my husband as if he was royalty when I tell you they properly done, they check all their P's and Q's, they immediately took my husband back to a room. They tested him and got him all situated. They even look at his his um, previous test results labs. They ran their own results. They said, we're, we, you're not going nowhere until we figure this out. And that's exactly what happened. The room, um, so my husband... Um, they did all the testing and stuff like that. So they they came back down and said, we already got a room prepared for you. In the room, I ain't even have to worry about getting like one of those little chairs that you can lay down if you fold out into it. They already had pillows in the room. They already had covers in the room. They already had washcloths, towels, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, everything in there. They even gave my husband an iPad so he can baby his test results right then and there. Also, he was able to order his food from right then and there. They had a menu already prepared for the rest of the week. Everything already laid out. My husband, we was like, huh? The room smelled fresh. It was clean. It was a big room. That room was so huge. 
to where you can have multiple fold out chairs in there and I really enjoyed being there. They treated my husband with respect and they actually figured it out. So they, he did a stress test. Um, you know, they do the normal EKG blood work, um, urine samples, everything. So they basically told him, they was like, well, you're not having a heart attack. You didn't have a stroke. They were saying basically with the acid reflux and then my husband has an ulcer on top of that and you know my husband been having issues with thyroids to where it's just it's not cooperating with each other so those issues is causing him to have like a heart attack symptoms and feel like he having a heart attack feel like he having a stroke so i said they basically told him that he's gonna have to see the gi doctor and and I kind of figured that and I was like yeah we so my husband do have an appointment so we are scheduled to go see the GI doctor next week so good thing about that so they're gonna have to put him to sleep regarding that but it's just it's crazy that I, ha I have been to we've been to the hospital like five five or six times back to back we went one day went to the next day and it's crazy so I went, I Googled um, uh, the issues, so I came across this video of exercises that you can do to try to calm down like the issues with um, acid reflux and feel like you having like a uh, anxiety attack and some other issues. So I found this video. And this guy, he actually stumbled across these exercises by mistake because he had a friend and one of the friends had a friend that was having issues and um, snoring issues. And basically, he came up with the exercise that she can do to try to help her snoring. And basically, some of the same exercises that he came up with her to help to stop us from snoring, excuse me, it was the same issues that was going to help her with her vertigo and dizziness and having sweaty palms and tingling in her fingers. So, I was able to like get some of the information, but you know, some of them people, when they put out videos like that, they want you to pay for it. So, I was like, I'm not about to pay for all that. So I showed my husband some of the exercises that he could do. So basically those exercises have been working for him. It's been helping him tremendously. We haven't been back to the hospital. So we just holding out so he can be able to go to the GI doctor. It's just crazy that some of these people, these doctors that get these doctors that come into this medical field, they just be brushing people off. Like really? Like, y'all don't understand that brushing people off. There have been people who've been sitting in the emergency room that have passed away, just been sitting there, and they have complained over and over about the issues that they was having. There has been people that have been sent home, and as soon as they got home and sat, good, sat down good, went back to bed, they died. And it's crazy that, you know, these these medical doctors be brushing people off. And the unfair treatment that some of these patients, when they come in, like, like they're not human beings. I'm going to need y'all to get it together for real. I understand that y'all are in a highly stressed position, highly stressed job, but that's the field that you chose. And I understand that y'all get frustrated, but you can't take your frustration out on patients. If it's starting to become overwhelming and you feel like you're getting too frustrated, you need to find another position or another field of study or another job to go to that you won't be so highly stressed out to where you're not giving proper care to the patients that's coming through that are relying on you to be able to figure out what's going on with them. Y'all need to find something else to do because it's starting to be ridiculous. And then you wonder why patients is suing the medical doctors because y'all not practicing what y'all claim to be at the beginning. Oh, I'm going to take this serious. I'm going to make sure I treat everybody like y'all. That just went out the window.
And I was saying to my husband, I said, as much as many, many times that we have visited a hospital and all the medical terminology that I have been learning and all the things and all the equipment they've been using, I might as well just go to school for be, to be a nurse. As much as time we done been to the hospital and me and him back and forth with our illness and we was like, man, our health, we're going to have to get our health under control. Health is so important, you guys. It's just like people are leaving here left and right. We are even more looking into the foods that we are eating and eating, cutting out even more stuff. Because we're going to have to. We have young children and we young ourselves and... We got we got to live our lives. We don't want our children burying us way before our time. We want to see our kids grow up, finish high school, go to college, get married, have children. In that order. So we got a whole life ahead of us. And we too young to be having these issues and me and my husband have been talking we have talks every day about our health and exercising more and really watching what we eat and looking at labels being on the more healthier side going to um uh, farmers markets videos that y'all seen which was like a quick video when I was going to BJ's my husband was so silly on that so we was getting fruits and vegetables and stuff we was basically getting fruits and vegetables really that's exactly what we was getting fruits and vegetables so we really really cutting down on that but I will give y'all you all an update um once my husband go to the GI doctor so we can basically see exactly what's going on with him so once that come around I will do another little sit down video and explain everything you know what will be the outcome regarding that visit but I just wanted to come on here just to give y'all like a little update as far as what's been going on why y'all haven't been receiving like my regular videos and I've been really enjoying the um uh, the short videos, those videos do a whole lot better than my regular videos. So I really do appreciate you guys, but I will be mixing it up. Also, I will be leaving my link to Clapper. I am now on Clapper. Clapper kind of reminds you like a little bit like TikTok. But I will be leaving my link in the description box down below so y'all can um, follow me over there on Clapper. So make sure you guys go check that out. I appreciate y'all support as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> Go and subscribe, okay? It's free. This video out and hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you see my video. And make sure you leave a comment or two, okay? So today is what? Happy Wednesday, Happy Wednesday you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Y'all stay tuned, okay? <laughs> mm